I had to do a lot of soul searching when I first came to Suffolk because I thought I didn't think I was smart. You know, I, I was I had a lot of insecurities. So coming to Suffolk, it matured me. Basketball was like my life, like a, a huge majority of my life actually. I'm only 20. I've been playing basketball since I was in diapers. So um, I had a little little short hoop, man, and you know I'm playing and. Uh, it's been like a dream of mine to be like Jordan. I think that's like every little kid's dream, you know, to be like a professional athlete. I went to high school, I went to Riverhead, and um, my mom, she said, you know, I think you should change schools because you're not doing too well here, you know? And I was like, well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna switch because we have a good basketball team. We, we can go upstate and we can, we can get a lot of accolades and I can go to USC or Duke and I can make us a lot of money. But she was like, no, you should look at it from like an academic standpoint. You know, it's like a, a better investment in you if you go to Mercy. And um, so I went to Mercy, um, a, a Catholic school. I went there, you know, and I, I excelled. I averaged a triple double. I played AAU basketball. I had a lot of college scouts and everything looking at me. I got a chance to play in front of uh, a lot of division one coaches. I played in front of Coach K, the head coach for Duke. You know, I thought I was going to the league. You know, it was looking good for me. In my 11th grade year, I messed my ankle up, and that discouraged me. And um, my senior year, it just didn't work out for me. I didn't take the SAT, and I didn't take it serious, so I made a lot of young mistakes, and um, it got me to Suffolk, and I didn't want to be here. I'm not gonna lie to you at first. I didn't want to be here. I cried, I was depressed. I thought it was pretty much over because I wasn't the best in the classroom. I never really applied myself in the classroom. Everything was basketball and going out and having fun. What I didn't realize was, I should have did some research, but Suffolk is like, we have a heck of a lot of accolades and everything, and you know, a lot of people are achieving at Suffolk. Our advisors say is like, the people who come to community colleges, they are very resourceful. You know, we, we have better, better money management skills than the people who go straight to a four-year school, because a lot of us, you know, we work two jobs. I work two jobs. I work at the library, the Riverhead Free Library, and I also work at the school. I'm a peer mentor. Before coming to Suffolk, I wasn't even an average student. I was, <laughs> you know, I was doing terrible. After I got a refresher course, I had a 4.0, so I'm like, this is, this is great. <laughs> you know, I actually had potential to go somewhere from here. What surprised me the most about Suffolk was their academic uh, work rigor. Coming here, I didn't think it was gonna be that hard because it's the school in the backyard, you know, it's in my backyard. And um, the professors, like, they, they really can, you know, load on the work, <laughs> you know, they give you a lot of work. Just like how serious the teachers take the job. That's one thing I gotta credit Suffolk for is actually taking the time and looking into like the teachers and everything and making sure they're gonna be a perfect fit for Suffolk because we have a winning culture here. Before, everything I did was for basketball, for me to advance in basketball, for me to try to go to the NBA and play overseas and make a fortune that way. Now, I'm more so focused on the academic part. If I would've went straight to a, a, the school that I wanted to go to coming out of high school, I would've failed out, I partied out. Like I said, you know, everybody has insecurities. You know, the, the difference with me, I feel, is I'll let you know, hey, this is my insecurity. Going somewhere and feeling like I was stupid compared to everybody else because I didn't apply myself. So what I did basically was I made myself feel inferior to the other guy who's on the honor roll. I made myself feel like, hey, you're not capable of doing that. I never gave myself a fair chance. But now that I'm giving myself a fair chance, I'm so much more confident. You know, um, words can't even explain how confident I am. Honestly speaking, I feel like you could put me in a class in the Ivy League school and I would excel, truthfully. Not even being arrogant or anything, but I'm gonna work hard. Even if I'm not naturally as smart as you, I'm gonna work hard, you're not gonna outwork me. I put all that effort that I used to put in the basketball court, I put it into schoolwork, and now I have a 3.6 GPA, and hopefully I can attend Yale when I graduate, so that's the goal.